welcome to What Makes It Pop. My name is Michelle Klein and I will be your host. Today we'll be exploring what makes teaching pop. There's a push to integrate technology into the classroom and it's important for students to be equipped with this knowledge, but is it enough? Are there other factors to be considered? For example, if a teacher integrates technology into the lesson, but isn't enthusiastic or ex excited, is it still an effective teaching tool? Or if a teacher brings in technology such as a smart board, but doesn't allow the students to use it, is it still that interesting for the students? Well, we're gonna to get to the bottom of these questions from our most important resource, the students. So please welcome Chelsea Parks and Jason Smith. Thank you for joining me today. I would like to ask you a few questions and get your honest opinion. I believe that you can help us um, with important information for teaching in the classroom. So Chelsea, you're in seventh grade. Yes. And Jason, you're in fourth. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, let's start off and tell us about your favorite teacher and why. Chelsea, let's start with you. Well, I have to say I have two favorite teachers. My first would be Mr. Lindsay because he's always enthusiastic and he interacts with us during the lesson. My second would be Miss Clark because she uses experiments and she takes us in and out of the classroom. And Jason? My favorite teacher would have to be my third grade teacher, Miss Cavelli, because she had class parties and made the lessons fun. Now, I noticed that you didn't mention technology. Did these teachers use technology in the classroom? Yes. Okay, well that's interesting and that leads me to my next question. Uh, what's more important, a teacher that's enthusiastic and full of energy or a teacher that incorporates technology in the classroom? Jason? Um, I would have to say a teacher that is excited because it's better when the teacher is enthusiastic about the lesson. Okay. I agree. All right, so excitement and enthusiastic and energy is very important. All right, now if you were going to bring technology into the classroom, what types of technology would you want to see in your classroom? I would say smart boards and videos, and I would make sure the students are allowed to use the technology because some teachers say that will ruin it and they don't let us use it, and that's no fun at all. Okay. I would let I would use videos, smart boards, and go into the computer lab. All right. Now, if you were going to be a teacher, how would you teach your classroom? Let's start off with you, Jason. I would use the students in the lesson. For example, if I was teaching math, I'd take ten students. And I'd say five students plus five students equals ten students. Okay, so you'd get the students out of their seats and let them be a part of the lesson. Yes. Okay. I would um, let them use technology and I would take them in and out of the classroom and incorporate activities and games into the lesson. Okay, so what I'm hearing is that you don't want to just sit and listen to the teacher talk during the lesson. You want to be active, whether you're doing an activity, using technology, playing a game. Exactly. Okay. So, well, I guess we've learned some important information here that if you're going to incorporate technology into the classroom, that you also need to be excited and let the students be a part of it. Well, I want to thank you for joining me today. And that's all the time we have. But join us tomorrow for What Makes Cooking Pop. We'll take you into the kitchen and learn how to spice up your cooking. See you next time. Michelle Plank and I'll be your host. <laughs>